Okay, this is Ken Pond from Ken Pond Media and Ken Pond Design. This is Piano Noir, a cinematic instrument. Now you can see the interface is basically nothing. It's just a skin. I designed this instrument kind of selfishly in that this is the way I like virtual instruments to work. Not a lot of knobs and whistles and bells. I like to change up whatever I get, my own EQing and compression, if that's what I choose to do. And that also works with this instrument too, because this is just kind of a genuine representation of this instrument. There's a little bit of EQ built into the virtual instrument just because of the nature of the instrument itself, but there's no reverb effects or anything like that. No compression, everything is right from the recording. If you're lucky enough to have you know, a full 88 keyboard, that's awesome. This is semi-weighted, they call it, which basically means plastic. I made it so the instrument spans as much as possible all 88 keys. So we have low register. And the high register and the mid register. The first key switch is the piano itself. So it has, I used a PZM microphone, I used mid side recording to put this together. And because it's a square grand, which is very, very unique type of piano that, that they don't make anymore. I really like the unique sound and it's an old, old instrument. And you'll hear some artifacts. You'll hear some, if you could hear that some key slaps in the higher velocities. Especially there, well, on that. Not so much on the low ones, but the high ones. You'll hear that. And I didn't want to take those out because I wanted this to not just to be a straight, pretty instrument, but to be a, a gritty one. So I love this sound. On SoundCloud, there's some examples of songs that I produced using this instrument. But I also wanted to show you the key switches. The reason I called it noir, which is black or dark, a cinematic instrument is because I wanted cinematic elements from the piano itself. So there are some guilty pleasures in here too. If I go to the second key switch, this is going to be the C sharp. You're going to get some detuned plucks from the actual strings themselves. Now I set the attack without the sustain pedal. I don't know if you're using a sustain pedal, but to stop. So you could do some funky stuff, but with a sustain pedal, you have control over the release. All right, so that's uh, that's C sharp key switch for on the D, third key switch, I guess technically. These are some really cool percussive sounds that I used with the body of the square grand itself. It's kind of an impact sound. And on this particular key switch, on the D, they're all mirrored in each octave. So what you get here, what you get here, what you get there. Those are all impacts. And then we've got... Some nice, dramatic horror-esque, suspense-y types of sounds. You 
Yeah, kind of just like eerie stuff. Now, in the, uh, I guess, technically the fourth key switch, or I would call it the third, because I never count the first key switch, the main instrument, is a bass... Now this is actually tuned to concert A. So this will, you know, whatever you play, it'll match with whatever you've got. So if we do something like, let's see. He could do some pretty weird stuff with it. And this is just extrapolated. Maybe there's five actual tones, the rest are extrapolated with a pitch shifter and then the last key switch we have the fifth or the fourth depending on how you look at it are more less ambient but more percussive elements and this is spread across the keyboard for the most part got some knocking so you've got a lot of different stuff to explore with this and I like it for a couple reasons I like it because of the kind of homey homegrown sound I was able to get from it. Then the kind of old jazz house. Sound you can get from it. And the fact that it's authentic. I love, you know, like waveform modulators and, and LFO things and all those little tweaks you do to make unique sounds. But this is more of an instrument combined with a ambient sound effects pack, if you will. That's the best way to describe it. But anyway, this is the interface. It's Panor Noir at sampleism.com. I'm Ken Pond. I hope you enjoy. Uh, make sure you comment and have a good one.